Hello and welcome to the Z-Hut. Today we're going to find out if it is actually possible to sharpen a knife with two nuts and a bolt. Now this morning when I woke up, uh, I was laying in bed watching some YouTube on my tablet and I ran across this video. This guy was sharpening knives using two nuts and a bolt. I looked at that and I'm like, there is no way. So we're going to test it out and find out. Um, I'm figuring this is just another one of those things, kind of like the perpetual motion machines. It's just garbage put on YouTube here to get views so you can make money. So we're going to see if it actually works or not. I don't really think it will, but we're going to find out. So first, I've got, uh, this is just an old junk knife. Uh, it was a flay knife at one time. I could just keep this in the garage. You can see it ain't sharp at all, hardly. I just use it for opening boxes and packages. And you, know, you see them videos on sharp knives. They'll slice right through the paper. This one ain't even coming close to doing that. So first, what we need is our drill. And I got my Black & Decker. sure it's all the way in there all right then we're just simply going to turn the drill on and put the knife between the two grooves that's how he showed it he just worked it back and forth between the two grooves and then tilted it a little each way and did the same thing back and forth so let's give it a try and see if this knife gets sharper That's about how long I seen him, roughly about how long. He did it about a minute or roughly about there. Now I do see some metal shaving, so obviously it did something and it's shiny. It doesn't real really feel any sharper though. Let's see what happens. Yeah, you see what it's doing? It's not cutting, it's tearing. Yeah, there it cut a little bit, but mostly tore. All right, let's try it again just a little bit more. And uh, like I said, I didn't think this is going to work. But we'll try just a little bit more and see. It does almost feel like it's maybe just the teeny tiniest bit sharper than it was. Um, but when he did it, I did notice he set the knife down, then moved the drill out of the way, grabbed the sheet of paper, and then brought the knife back in into frame and that's why I'm thinking he switched knives he had two knives that were the same one was razor sharp probably done on a whetstone and the other was done dulled out on this idea but let's try it again a little bit and see if we can get her get her any sharper Let's see if that made any difference. It cut a little bit, but it's, as you can see, it's mostly tearing. Um, yeah, I could lick this with my tongue. I got butter knives that are sharper than this. I could literally lick, lick this with my tongue and it ain't going to cut me up. Please don't try that at home, though. Please don't try that at home or just commenting that you know that's about how dull it is but um yeah i think um what i'm gonna do to sharpen this up um i used to use when i use it as a flay knife i'd use my whetstone but i'm not going to use it as a flay knife it just needs to be a little bit sharper than this so i think what i'll 
resort to. Um, my grinding wheel just that tears them up too quick. I, I think what I'll do, and these stones are cheap, is I'll just go and use the stone. Now that might not be the most recommended way to sharpen it. Oh, she is sharper though. I can feel it's actually sharp and it's sharp enough for what I'm going to be using it for in the garage. So yes, the, uh, the two nuts and the bolt, look at that. It actually cut mostly, tore a little at the end. It's actually cutting, mostly cutting the paper. So that, and I just barely ground it on there. If I went a little longer, or even hit it on the whetstone a couple times, I could have this really sharp. So the two nuts and the bolt for sharpening a, uh, a knife uh, does not work. Scam. Don't waste your time. It uh, could even damage your knife or, well, at least make it take longer to actually sharpen it the true way. Because if it's fairly sharp and you do this, it's going to dull it and you're going to have to take care of all that. Um, this is going to be your kitchen knife for flaying, stuff like that. Use a whetstone if um, you're going to be using it in the shop, you know, just a junk knife for cutting stuff, you know, in your garage. One of these stones work good. I don't really recommend a grinding wheel because they just take off too much too quick and it's hard to get it nice and even. Or with the stone here, it's small, it's not turning super fast. They actually work really good. All right, uh, well, I think we'll wrap this video up. So I'd like to thank you um, for joining us here at the Z-Hut today. And remember, don't try to sharpen your knife with two nuts and a bolt. It doesn't work. Catch you later.